Our tragedy today is a general and universal physical fear so long sustained by now that we can even bear it. There are no longer problems of the spirit. There is only the question, when will I be blown up? Because of this, the young man or woman writing today has forgotten the problems of the human heart. He must learn them again. He must teach himself that the basis of all things is to be afraid, and teaching himself that, forget it forever. Until he does so, he labors under a curse. He writes not of love, but of lust, of defeats in which nobody loses anything of value, of victories without hope, and worst of all, without pity or compassion. His griefs grieve on no universal bones, leaving no scars. He writes not of the heart, but of the glands. Until he relearns these things, he will write as though he stood among and watched the end of man. I refuse to accept this. I believe that man will not merely endure, he will prevail. He is immortal not because he alone among creatures has an inexhaustible voice, but because he has a soul a spirit capable of compassion and sacrifice and endurance. The poets, the writer's duty is to write about these things. It is his privilege to help men endure by lifting his heart, by reminding him of the courage and honor and hope and pride and compassion and pity and sacrifice which have been the glory of his past. The poet's voice need not merely be the record of man. It can be one of the props, the pillars, to help you endure and prevail.